Welcome to Dry Boys Cars. My name is Stephen and this is our beautiful 2018 Mini 1 GT3 door finished in midnight black metallic. The mileage on this one is just 18,350. It's had one owner from new and it comes with the benefit and reassurance of a fully documented service history. The Mini GT was a special edition model that Mini brought out. They only made 1,499, hence they're called the Mini 1499 GT. There were only two colorways. One was Midnight Black, the other was Pepper White. Now, the standard specification, well, they came with a John Cooper Works Aerodynamic Kit, or let's call it a sports kit. And that includes 17 inch black track spoke alloys. It also includes a three sport leather multifunction John Cooper Works steering wheel, John Cooper Works sill plates, a rear John Cooper Works spoiler on the tailgate, and if that wasn't enough, there was also a John Cooper Works leather trimmed gear stick. This one, along with all of that, comes with a storage compartment pack, some protection glass, anthracite headlining, and media pack. What well, the media pack is visual boost radio, so that's a large screen in the center of the dashboard and satellite navigation. So let's have a closer look, shall we? So we start off at the front and we'll slowly make our way down the near side in a second or two. But whilst we're looking at the front, if I can draw your attention to the spoiler underneath the front number plate, well, that's the enhanced spoiler, which is part of the John Cooper Works aerodynamics kit. Now we can see that this currently has on its uh, number plate RH02BEX. Well, the lady that had this Mini from new was called Rebecca, or Bex for short. And the number stays with the car, so it's included in the sale price. If you didn't want to have this number on, you can take it off and it would come out on a 67 plate. But if you call Becca or Bex for short, that's fantastic. As my children would say, happy days. So as we now come down the near side or passenger side, I'll just take a moment to just adjust the camera slightly so we have a better view. There we go. And we'll take more than a passing look at one of those Beautiful alloy wheels, they're completely immaculate. And we can see we've got the Mini 1499 GT graphics on the side there. And slowly now coming to the rear, we've got another one of those gorgeous alloy wheels. As we come to the rear, I can always confirm, also confirm, I'm sorry, that we've got rear parking sensors. There's one of them. There's four in total. So there's no excuses for reversing into anything or anybody for that matter. And as we come to the offside or driver's side, doesn't that look fantastic? And again, another one of those beautiful alloys. Now I did mention that this has some protection glass. Well, if we look at the driver's door and in particular the driver's door glass, and then compare that with the rear glass, we can see the rear glass is a lot darker. Well, that's what they mean by sun protection glass. I'd call it darkened glass, but many call it sun protection glass. So as we come slowly back to where we started from. I know I'm biased, but doesn't that look absolutely fantastic? So that's the outside. Let's have a look on the inside now, shall we? I'll pop the driver's door open. There we go. And I always like to check out the door cards to make sure they're in good order. Usually if they are, that's a good indication that the rest of the car is. But let's have a look. So on the armrest, we've got two buttons here for the electric windows, a toggle switch there for the electric door mirrors. You can manually lock yourself in if you wish. Then if we pan over to the interior, wow, look at those seats. They are sports seats trimmed in Alcantara, I would call it upholstery. We've got leather inserts there beautiful colour scheme and we've got the John Cooper Works logo there as well. The driver's seat is height adjustable utilising this lever and we've got there 
a sumptuous leather, three spoke, John Cooper works, multifunction leather steering wheel. So if I park myself inside, let's have a closer look. So it's very tactile, this steering wheel. And we've got the black leather, which contrasts really, really nicely with the red stitching, keeping the John Cooper Works colour scheme there. Now, on the left-hand side of the steering wheel, we've buttons here for cruise control. On the right-hand side, we've got buttons here for the volume on the radio, and you can adjust the station you're listening to. Now, once you've paid your telephone up to the Bluetooth system and you receive an incoming call, just press the little telephone icon and you can chat away merrily. Above the steering wheel, we've got the speedometer. And there we go. The mileage there for you, 18,380. I think I might have said 18,350, so I do apologise. Whoops. It is 18,380. To the left of the steering, sorry, to the left of the speedo and the steering wheel, we've got the rev counter. And then coming over to the centre of the dashboard, We've got the Media Pack or Visual Boost Radio. I'll start the engine up and I'll try and get rid of that glare for us. There we go. That's better. So this is the home screen. And if I turn the dial, we can see we've got a checkered flag there. Well, that's the satellite navigation system. Click onto map. There we go. We can zoom in or zoom out. Then over to the home screen again We've got radio option here so you can choose your favorite stations there's Bluetooth sorry there's DAB FM and AM I'm getting ahead of myself here's the Bluetooth their telephone system now if I can pair my telephone up to this anybody can then we scroll on a little bit further there we go this is my favorite part because we click on vehicle status all the warning uh, information is here so we can look at the tyres it has a tyre pressure monitoring system and we can see that all four tyres are in green which is fabulous that means that the pressures are set as they should be but if you had well, let's say a leaky valve or a slow puncture you'd get a warning on the dashboard which would then encourage you to visit this part of the visual boost radio system and you can see which tyre needs attention you can check your engine oil level measure the engine oil level service requirements so this lets us know when any service items are going to be due and we can see that everything now has got okay against it but we can interrogate a little bit further so if I click on brake fluid we can see that's going to have to be changed in March next year engine oil same time or in 11,000 miles whichever was to come soonest and then vehicle check which is an inspection service that's March 2026 or 27,000 miles. I'm going to go back to the home screen. Underneath that, we've got the heating and ventilation system. So we've got temperature on the left for the passenger, on the right for the driver, the large wheel in the centre gives us the fan. We can press auto, which ultimately activates the air conditioning as well. Just switch that off. We've got maximum air conditioning heated rear window and fast demist for those cold winter mornings we can switch the engine on and off using that button and then peeping at us just down there they've got a USB and an auxiliary port as well with twin cup holders and a six-speed manual transmission now this dial here that's everything for the visual boost radio so it's the master control panel if you will if we come out now of the driver's seat, we'll have a look behind the, the rear seat. To gain access for the passengers, what you need to do, put your hand over the back of the driver's seat. There's the lever. Slide forwards, and there we go. Pop that back, and we'll come to the back of the car. To gain access to the boot, wear the mini badges just here. What we need to do, put our hand underneath, click, and lift. And there we go. Now we can see that the rear seat is on a 60-40 split arrangement. So you can fold them both down or individually. And we have what I like to call a secret compartment. We've got a nice solid panel there. But it also, excuse me, it also lifts up and gives you more storage capacity, especially if you fold the rear seats down. 
Now this will come out if you want, but it tucks up nicely there as we can see out of the way. And then just fold that back down. We'll continue, we'll come back down the passenger side or near side and check out the passenger door card. There we go, absolutely pristine as is the front passenger seat. And just like the driver's seat, that too is height adjustable, utilizing that lever there. And again, just like the driver's side, for the passengers to gain access, put your hand over the back, lift that lever up, slide forwards, and there we go. So, to summarize, well, here we've got a beautiful 2018, Mini One GT three door hatchback finished in midnight black. The mileage is just 18,350. It's had one owner from new, comes with a fully documented service history, and along with all the standard features that the GT comes with, ours has got some protection glass, storage compartment, and media pack, which is satellite navigation along with the visual boost radio system. Now, when I finish the video, our team will come in, we'll COVID secure the interior, so it's all safely ready for you to come and inspect. If you have any questions, or you're thinking, yeah, I really like that, Stephen, but what's my car worth? Well, give me a call. I'll be more than happy to help. My name is Stephen. I do hope you've enjoyed the video, and I look forward to speaking to you very soon.